Welcome back, I'm Quentin, and today we're going to be taking a look at installing the SFML library. So, with SFML, you might need this for like making games and stuff, because it has a graphics library that's really useful in C++, it has an audio library, it has a window library, so basically for, if you're trying to make like, let's say you're making a 2D platform or Mario Brothers style game, SFML is a very good choice, like so far for all the graphical games I've made, like Space Armaments and stuff like that, I've been using SFML. What just this is just with C++ of course and really SFML is really nice in a lot of ways like it, it really speeds things up so the first thing that we want to do let's say you're on Windows you're going to want to go to the website and if you're on Linux you don't need to go to the website but it is helpful so we'll just type SFML enter so now this should bring us to the SFML website you see the HTTPS right here I like that for now when I made this video that means it's secure in the future it might mean something different but right now it, it stands for security so you want to click on this website so you should be brought to the SFML page so here we go we're going to, want to go to the download so let's say you're on Windows you're going to want to download the latest stable version so you click on that SFML 2 of course you want to have all your IDs and everything all your yeah all your IDs up to date so here you get a wide choice unless you're using visual c++ i would go with either the these bottom two preferably the min gw one with windows because default compiler with windows while using code blocks and stuff is the min gw compiler so the min gw one is a good choice it, it's very stable and everything um i haven't tried this one for the links here and i've just been using the terminal Either way, today we're using Linux, so we're go not going to be going into the Windows downloads pretty too far. The Windows downloads very straightforward. You download it, you'll get the download thing here, and then you should, and then it's just package that you got unzip on your desktop, and then you just drag it around to where you need it. So we're going to close out of here, and for since we're using Linux Mint, we're going to open up the terminal. So you you should have a terminal icon here down in the bar, or over here on the start menu. If you don't have it there, it should be in administration. And then in the administration category, you want to click on terminal. So the terminal will open. So then the first thing that we want to do is type sudo apt-get install um, liblibsfml-dev okay so this is a uh, the version that I used if we hit enter we'll be uh, prompted for a password so I've already got this installed the next thing that we want to do is we want to create our C++ project so we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this SFML game game test so you hit enter you open her up so I've got this default code you can find it on the SFML website it's a basic graphics code, it draws a circle, and it's uh, it just tests to make sure that everything is running correctly. So you want to copy all this, close out of that, create a new document, empty document, and then we'll, we'll call it test.cpp, enter. So we'll open her up, V, and save this um, C++ code. Wait, we'll actually want to call this main, because most of the default um, C++ files are named main so we'll just stick with main alright so then the next thing that you want to do is create another new document and then this one we're going to want to call compiler sh enter alright so then we want to open this up so right now we're go it's going to be a terminal bash script so then what we're going to want to do is type g++ dash c main dot cpp because that's what we called our main um, category our main c++ document here so then after that you hit enter and on the next line type once again g++ main dot o minus o or dash o and then we'll want to create a bin folder here so we'll create new folder and just name it bin all right, so now, so now we're going to be sending this into the bin folder that we just created, just so that everything stays nice and neat. And then we'll type 
we'll call we can call anything here we'll just call it test so let's we'll say test and then dash l s f m l so that stands for led by do believe graphics spacebar and then another one same thing l s f m l dash window all right and then we want to do dash l s f m l again dash system and then we'll do another dash ls fml and then dash audio audio so this is just bringing in all the libraries that are included in the sfml dash network okay so now that you've got that you want to hit enter and then type dot dash bin dash um, what did we name it? Test. Alright, so now once that's finished, we want to save this. So now, as you notice, it's a compiler.sh, it's a script. Alright, so, so then the next thing that you want to do is open this in terminal. Alright, so if we did this right now, we just get this, and that's, that's not going to, that's not going to work. So, that doesn't really do anything. So, what we want to do is type chmod plus x. And then we want to name it compiler.sh because that's what we've got here. That's what we named it, the, our compiler here. So this will compile it with the SFML library and the G++ library. So, and the, I mean the G++ compiler. So we hit enter. So now it doesn't look like anything's changed, but when we run this, we have, the choi we have a choice here to display, run, or run in terminal. We want to click run in terminal. So it opens this up, and we get our circle. So the code works perfectly. Everything is running in order. So all in all, um, it there are a few difficulties when trying to get SFML set up on a brand new system like I uh, am here. It's taken me a little bit to get used to it. It's, but all in all, I do like Linux better than Windows, you know? This is right now. I'm running this on a Linux, and I can do pretty much everything that I could do with the Windows, except Windows.h library isn't included in C++. The get function won't work on um, Linux, which kind of sucks, but it helps you be independent of the Windows mess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, be sure to subscribe. We appreciate every subscriber, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.